Hi, Pisces. How are you? Welcome to your energy update for today, Monday the 23rd. So, Pisces, excuse all this here. <laughs> we are going to um, draw some cards for the person that you're dealing with. Let's see. Let's get a card to describe them. Let's see how they view you, how they feel about the relationship, something you're ignoring about this person, what this relationship is based off or on, the future of this relationship, and a lesson to be learned here. So let's see. Pisces and the person. One card to represent Pisces person. How do they see Pisces? How do they feel about the relationship? Something Pisces is ignoring about this person. What this relationship is based on, the future of this relationship, and a lesson. Clear messages for Pisces. Clear messages for Pisces. Pisces, bottom of the deck is a tower in the reverse. Okay, so it's someone delaying the inevitable. Okay, it's someone maybe... Uh, trying to avoid their their lessons, um, you know, just trying to avoid a situation that is divinely orchestrated and that needs to happen anyway um, because it isn't built on firm foundation, okay? Let's see here. So your person, a card to represent them, we have the Eight of Wands, okay? So some sort of slowdown, some sort of, 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 of panic or waiting period, okay? So this could speak to a time when Pisces, you retract your energy, okay? And they feel that slowdown with you, um, and, and they're also maybe, you know, retracting and retreating to, to gather their energy. Again, as we spoke yesterday, it's Capricorn season, a time when people kind of um, refrain and retract their energy and um, are slow to express and slow to process emotions. So let's clarify. Why is the Eight of Wands here in the reverse for a, a card to represent a Pisces person? Eight of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse for Pisces person. Eight of Wands in the reverse for Pisces person. Eight of Wands in the reverse for Pisces person. Eight of Wands in the reverse for Pisces person. Eight of Wands. Yeah. They are um, holding back. Definitely not expressing emotion. They're detached. Um, not because they don't feel it, um, but just almost a, a coping mechanism as well. Okay, someone that isn't balanced in their emotions. So Pisces, how they see you, justice. Okay, you're bringing justice to the situation. You're, you're evening things out, whether that means retracting your energy, okay? And that's perfectly okay. Why is justice here for how this person sees Pisces? Why is justice here for how this person sees Pisces? The High Priestess. Okay, maybe because this person um, that you're dealing with, Pisces, has, um, you know, been repressing feelings. Okay, this is why you're bringing justice to the situation. They've been repressing. They haven't been listening to their intuition. Uh, you know, on they've they've been honestly off center, and, and and they probably feel like they lost their inner voice or a little lost at this time. Okay, Pisces, so you're bringing justice to the situation because you can't be anybody's puppet, unfortunately, or fortunately. <laughs> Pisces, how they feel about this relationship, we have the Ace of Swords. So they feel like they know, they, they, they know that you are somehow meant to be in your life. I feel like there's, there's some sort of truth that they know, okay? But they, they aren't following it. Um, so I feel like they, they're very aware of their feelings for you. I feel like, um, you know, they want some sort of breakthrough. Let's see. They want to communicate. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here for how this person views a relationship with Pisces? Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords for how this person views a relationship with Pisces. Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Whoa, too many. <laughs> okay. We have the King of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse, Pisces. So this could be speaking to, if it's a feminine and masculine energy, you and that person, a queen of swords in the reverse is someone that's a little spiteful right now, okay? Um, possibly on a, on a larger scale, a little vindictive, okay? Just a little angry, I feel, okay? Has let some things make this, this person bitter. And I feel like um, 
you know, the person that you're dealing with, if it is a male, okay, these energies can be reversed, um, is, is very focused on their money, okay? Or this person, or you, Pisces, this Queen of Swords, that is, you know, um, getting a little bitter from the situation, not necessarily that's an extreme, but are just focusing on your prosperity here. Let's, let's clarify, I wanna clarify this. How does this, um, how does this person on Pisces dealing with, how do they feel about the relationship with Pisces that wants to move over? Hostilities, hence <laughs> the Queen of Swords in the reverse. What else? What else? How does this person feel about the relationship with Pisces? How does this person feel about the relationship with Pisces? Angel of Balance popped out in the reverse. Yeah. Pisces, they see you as very balanced, I feel, but they also understand that this relationship is, is not balanced and it's making you not happy. Not, not happy. <laughs> so something you're ignoring about this person, we have the Seven of Cups. So this person, you know, has a lot of ideas going on in their head right now. They possibly have so many things going on, work, this, that, kids, it, you know. So this could also speak to options. This person has options. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Four of Wands. So one of the one of the things that they um, that comes around in their in their mind from time to time is having this celebration. Okay, having this this balanced this you know celebrating about this about something with you. But this person you know, has a lot of mental anguish. And then so that is what kind of stops them from allowing the situation to grow and evolve here with the Empress, okay? A new cycle wants to take place. It does. But this person is just thinking. Thinking, not really following their intuition. So, um, all right, so what is this relationship based on? Page of uh, Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. Diligence. Wanting to put effort. Look. And then we have the Knight of Wands in the, in the sideways. So wanting to put effort and like half action. Why? Why is this relationship based on people couple things here because people could either feel as if they don't have all the resources as if it's as if they can't manifest they don't feel powerful they feel powerless in in the situation okay because their mind starts to take over they get flustered about all these thoughts if you see these this woman's face you know it's having a lot of options and and, and not knowing what to do can can be tiresome and and worrisome but um you know, not, not using someone's full potential here. It's kind of holding yourself back because you're not fully listening to your intuition. I think here the lesson here is that the universe wants you to trust it. It's going to bring you amazing things. But if you hold yourself back, then you're just going to limit your happiness in a sense. We have to be brave and we also have to work through whatever filters we have. Um, you know, filters of fear, filters of, of resentment, of all, of all that stuff that is, is not of our natural state anyway. Um, you know... We have to clean out the computer that we have here. So what is the future of this relationship? Ten of swords. Let's see, let's clarify. Ending, or maybe a phase in the relationship ending for another one to commence. Let's see. I'm not, you know, I feel like Pisces has gotten to a state that if it happens, great. I mean, some of you right now could be, um, you know, feeling like you're, you're done. And that's okay as well, okay? Everyone has a limit. Um, and, and the universe will also provide new opportunities for you, okay? So that's just how it works. When one door closes, another one opens. Um, if you are brave enough to take that step. You know, however, if, for, for some of you, you know, these cycles, things come back around. It's, it's another chance to grow, to evolve. Maybe, you know, at another time it'll, it'll work. So I feel, you know, when you when you meet 
someone that you have such an intense connection, a soulmate, a twin flame here, okay? And you guys are not able to come on, on this, get aligned with the same path, okay? A, we have to see if that person that we are feeling that we're aligning with is, is someone, you know, out of, out of fear, out of, um, you know, other types of emotions, out of filters, okay? Um, or is it something, normally when you have that deep, intense, you know, um, connection, it's, it's, there's, there's something there. It's something to show you, okay? And um, some people are only meant to be in your path for a short while and some um, for longer, okay? So I was going to go somewhere completely different with that, but that's where spirit kind of ended it. <laughs> King of Swords. Yeah, there's an ending here during this time, I feel, during this time. Um, and again, in the spring, something else revolved, maybe with another person. Um, but I feel here that, you know, both of you are very logical at this time. Very, you know, not wanting to budge, very detached, very, um, I think that uh, there was some sort of uh, some sort of planetary aspect with Aquarius, um, you know, the ruler being Uranus, very independent sign, okay? So I feel like you guys are very much getting set and, 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 and really working through that energy of independence and feeling good all by yourself. So then, you know, you're, you're, you're doing some growing, you're doing some leveling up here. Ten of Pentacles just popped out. Love it. All right, let's move forward, shall we? Yeah. So, <laughs> lesson to be learned here. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Jealousy. Self-centeredness energy. Very, very self-focused. Why, why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse? Pisces, for... Some of you, I I just got that there there could be an older woman in the mix, okay, Pisces, and maybe you have evolved from something or learned a lesson about an older woman. Could be a mother in your life. Could be some whatever older woman figure that there was some sort of control, you know, that this person had over you, or um, you know, you just felt some sort of little press of energy and, and you had to maybe detach and, 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 and do it in a, you know, healthy way. Again, you know, we, we don't want, we want to make it as least messy as possible, right? Especially if it's something like your mother, you know, we, we love our mother, um, but they could just be that dynamic. So anyhow, since you've been through this situation for a number of you, this could be that you're also guiding this person to, uh, go through the situation with someone in their surroundings could be their mother their some sort of older mother figure here but let's see what what is the lesson here okay to stop being self-centered stop being jealous you know stop only thinking about the financial security and really um follow what it is that you're feeling the ace of cups here your emotions this new inspiration the new uh the, the new thing that spirit is kind of putting in your heart the new feelings that are arising and plan and move forward. Okay, actually do the planning. You know, whatever comes to us, so oftentimes, you know, when we have a thought, we're not the only one that thinks that thought, okay? Thoughts come down to us, and if we don't do anything with them, then someone else does something with them, okay? So so it's, it's, it's how able are you to take these energies that are coming down and actually take the opportunities at hand and move forward with it. That is, that is also a lesson because, you know, I see here two people that very much feel for each other, yet both of their thoughts in their mind mirroring each other, obviously sending energy back and forth, but, you know, uh, emotionally detaching because of fears and really not being able to get on the same page with that because they're not listening to the intuition. Not listening to the intuition. Pisces, your intuition during this time could be telling you that someone is feeling inadequate, someone is having these feelings coming up, of, of not feeling good enough of, you know, maybe someone could be retracting because they feel, you know, um, you know, they're, they're just not feeling their best. And that, that isn't an excuse, but that could make you angry, your ego angry because someone is retracting. So instead of letting your mind ponder and, and keep going, and I know, you know, it's, um, you know, some of you don't like when, um, you know, I say stay in compassion. Compassion doesn't mean you have to take anybody back. 
Compassion just is, is for you, okay? Have compassion for yourself and love yourself enough to not let your mind fester and, and bring this energy to yourself, okay? So let's see. Let's wrap this up. Some oracles. <laughs> Pisces. Pisces. See how long this video? Okay. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? That. Conflict and defeat. Some of you could be feeling like there's conflict in the surroundings, some sort of defeat. Okay, that, that, that could be the feeling of this little Capricorn, um, you know, Saturn, stern. Saturn likes uh, discipline, structure, okay? It can feel a little oppressive. Memories of love coming up, okay? Someone in your surroundings, this person or yourself, Pisces, feeling a little defeated in a love situation, some memories coming back up. You know, people retracting. Let's see. And I'm... Um, rest and rejuvenation. This, this pain and uh, It's just like a little timeline here. <laughs> Conflict, defeat, memories of love, rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, people are retracting. This is like the hermit card. Retracting because you're trying to make sense and make peace with what it is that's coming up for you at this time. Okay? whatever triggers it doesn't have to be you know an actual trigger where you go off but you, you you know when something makes you feel even just the slightest bit uh you know not in, in in your happy zone or in your natural state solar plexus solar plexus being drawn to this yellow energy here okay this this what you're really feeling you know this energy of conflict and defeat what you're doing is you're really doing some clearing of your solar plexus energy here, really getting in touch with your personal power, okay, of, of, of coming out with, with this energy and, and doing something about not staying in this energy of defeat. Um, sorry, guys, the washer's on. But, um, and then that leads to new beginnings for yourself, with this person, with someone else, whatever that may be, okay? Working through this energy. And, and, and again, as we're working through energy, what we... What a lot of people also don't understand and what I didn't understand at one point in my life, probably till about a, a couple years back, is pain, you know, is, is, is helpful, okay? Um, that, there, there's suffering that is self-inflicted and then there's, there's pain of growth. And if you really understand it and if you really make the most of that, okay, you evolve at even, you know, more rapid pace. You start co-creating with the universe. You understand the universe's plan and, and you really just get on that flow, okay? So what, whatever feelings of conflict or defeat are coming up for you, sit with it, acknowledge it, um, make sense of it, okay? And work through it so you can really clean out your solar plexus, clean out that chakra so you're able to take action in your life, you know, your, 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 your power here, okay? Your personal power and, and take the opportunity of the new beginnings that you haven't been taking because you've just been rep repressing, blocked, blocked intuition, you know, blocked energy here. Yeah. All right. Wrap this up. Embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. I feel here like... Uh, Someone, both parties, maybe, you know, uh, one on a larger scale, has been afraid to embark on, on something new, okay? They, they've been feeling like they, maybe they're not capable. Giving birth, again, something new. Like, literally, we ended a cycle, something new is beginning, new beginnings. I'm telling you, new, new, new is coming in for you guys. And it's and it's just this little bit, okay, before we, we we're, we're honing up, closing up the energies, closing up the cycles, okay? If th this is a great time to sit with things and let them go. If not, they're gonna follow you into 2020 and you don't want that. No, new, we want new and exciting, right? Yeah, I'm really excited for you guys. So thank you for watching. This was your energy update about you and this person. I wanted to do another one after yesterday's video. Um, I had so much more to say, but I had to cut that short. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye.